John Osborne here with the FX Education Outlook for September 25th, 2017. A lot of the markets are being affected by jitters around world news, especially around North Korea and what's happening between North Korea and the United States. And therefore, a lot of things are sitting sideways. A lot of things that were running higher are kind of going sideways. In fact, we're seeing some of the markets turn and look a little bit more bearish. Uh, but first, we'll look at the one area where we're looking, where we are still a little bit in the bullish side, at least as far as our daily bullishness and our weekly. We're starting to fade here on our four-hour chart. As we're trying to break above this 1.67229, you can see how we just went above it by a little bit, came up and retested it. It doesn't look good like we're going to break it. Um, and we've drawn in a new line underneath here as a potential support break in case it doesn't go through. On the bearish side, we've got the Kiwi US dollar, and that's showing a nice daily uh, consolidation uptrend line here. And if we can break through there around 0.72332, then we could see a nice drop. We're already getting a pretty good drop here on the four hour. Almost a little bit of a head and shoulders, but we got an extra bump right here. Uh, we got some better examples of that in some other markets, but this is looking a little bit bullish for a bullish, uh, I'm sorry, looking a little bit bearish for a bearish break. First target on that bearish break would be this pivot low of 0.71825. Also with the Kiwi market, the Kiwi Yen has already broken this support. And that was at 81.425. So you can see we've dropped through there and we're going down to test this low right about here. That's our next support at 80.812. The Euro US dollar, is also sitting in a little bit of a consolidation channel here, but starting to look more and more bearish, even on the daily as we move sideways. So watch for a break there of about 1.18469. Probably want to incorporate this previous pivot right here. That would drop that down a little bit. Let me see if I can get the exact number for us here. That would be at 1.18225. And finally, in the dollar loony, we also have another daily up move, but we don't have a very good pivot on this side here with enough of a bounce here to give us a really well-defined pivot right here. And we're looking more bullish than bearish on our daily. So this one's a little bit mixed, but we do have this nice formation that's halfway decent that we can look at for a potential breakthrough lower. But I do suspect that this one could continue to move higher. And that'll do it for today. Until next time, hope you have a great rest of your day.